Police are investigating an incident that happened at Franklin Park Mall earlier today. Several people were arrested after shots were fired in the mall's parking lot. No one was hurt, but there are growing concerns with the mall's safety. Andre Norrells joins us live outside the mall. So, Andre, take us through what happened and what did people have to say to you about what went down today? Well, Jeff, we were here earlier when police got a call of shots fired here at the mall. I also was here last year when a similar incident took place. A shopper we spoke to today says these incidents are troubling. I probably won't be coming to this mall anymore. It's just I don't feel safe. Susie Morawski says she remembers a time when the mall was different. I grew up in this area. I used to come here all the time and it's not nice anymore. She says she was leaving the mall Friday afternoon. She noticed her car was right in the middle of a police investigation. And I see police officers walking around and people looking at the car in front of me. And then I looked and noticed that it had a whole bunch of bullet holes in it. And so now I can't go anywhere because there are a bunch, bunch of bullet casings under my car. And so they're still conducting their investigation. According to Toledo Police, a fight broke out inside the mall between a few people late Friday afternoon. It then made its way outside into the parking lot. That's when we're told shots rang out. No one was hurt, but a few vehicles were hit by gunshots. And I think it's 10 times scarier when my 10 year old son is with me. Jay Branson was inside a sporting goods store when this all happened. He says he had to take cover when the mall was placed on lockdown. Is everybody else okay? And my main concern obviously was my, my child's with me and wanted to take cover. This isn't the first time something like this has happened. The mall was placed on another lockdown this past Saturday after a swatting call. And it was December of last year when two people were shot at the mall and suffered non-life-threatening injuries after police say someone accidentally fired a gun. For Mowalski, it's taking its toll. People are afraid. And I'm really afraid now. I mean, that, that was too close to home. Excuse me. Now, several people did tell us that this is concerning, and we did reach out to the mall for comment, but we have not heard back. Reporting in West Toledo, Andre Norris, WTOL 11.